Tonight, shockwaves still rippling through Connecticut and across the country following the Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe versus Wade. Rallies to consider the what next began shortly after the ruling was announced this morning and are planned throughout the weekend. News 12 Connecticut's Karen Pinto joins us from Stanford where protesters gathered earlier this evening. Karen. Roxanne, people at today's rally say although today was devastating news, it begins the next chapter on their fight for reproductive rights. It's a sad day. It's a day of mourning for us. It's just absolutely horrifying what has happened and where we are today. Folks in Stanford came together to rally against the Supreme Court's landmark decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. I lived the 50s. I didn't want to live it again. Kay Maxwell works as a welcomer at Planned Parenthood. So she says she sees the need firsthand of women needing proper reproductive rights and care. It's easy to get really discouraged, but coming together with folks of like-minded people and energizing us at least gives us this, the strength to keep keep fighting, which is all we can do. We have the ability to make our voices heard. And fighting is what Mayor Caroline Simmons of Stanford says local leaders will continue to do. All the, the pain and anger and frustration and rage that we're feeling as women today, we need to channel that energy into action in these November elections. Abortion rights are protected here in Connecticut. Are we ready to fight Stanford? And State Representative Matt Blumenthal says he will continue to fight for those rights to be protected in this state and the country. We have to keep fighting on the national level. We have to keep fighting here at the local and the state level. And we need to demand clear pro-choice po positions from our politicians and public officials. And voting in local elections was emphasized a lot tonight, both by the people attending the rally as well as our local politicians. In Stanford, Karen Pinto, News 12, Connecticut. Karen, thank you.